Hey, good people. Welcome back to Beauty and the Frizz. My name is Kara. Whether you're new or returning, thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out with me for another day of Frizzmas. <laughs> I'm already laughing because y'all know how I get with purchase or pass. It's not on purpose, but it's just a whole bunch of foolery going on. And I have a feeling, well, I know there's one release for sure where I'm like, are we really doing this? So if you want to go ahead and comb through all the makeup releases with me, keep watching this video. Let me know what you think. And if makeup is your therapy and your love, if it makes you happy and you want to hang out with someone that feels the same way, definitely consider joining the community. You know, I'd love to have you back. All right, let's get started. <laughs> So I hope everybody is doing well. I hope you're doing well. Christmas is almost here. I, I don't know. I'm not as in the spirit as I usually am, which isn't a lot in the first place. So there's that. But I am into seeing these new makeup releases. So I'm gonna go ahead and scoot over and we're gonna go ahead and start with Makeup Release Radar. And all the accounts I follow will be in the description box. So let's go ahead and get to it. I will say I've got four days next week. So the countdown is on. As I said, we're gonna be starting with Makeup Release Radar. And we're gonna go ahead and scroll down to where we left off last week. Let's start with these singles from Terra Moons Cosmetics. They are releasing a winter eyeshadow bundle. I'm not sure at this time if the whole bundle has been revealed, but we do have these shades here. Now this bundle is going to be available on the 17th. Oh, which is today at 6 p.m. CST. Okay, these are gorgeous. I'm definitely tempted, but I'm not sure. We had these shades as well. I absolutely love Terra Moons. I really like these shades too. These are maybe for me. I'm not sure how well the makeup protection program will be able to protect us against these shades or some of them. I really love Terra Moons. I talked about them in my eyeshadow ranking video and it's really these shimmers, the way that they're able to make them so creamy feeling. It's, it's really a talent. Their mats are not my favorite, but I don't really purchase a lot of their mats. So where they were on my eyeshadow ranking, I think was number seven and I'm kind of not okay with that, but these are really nice. If you haven't tried Terra Moons, you will not regret trying any of their shadows, including the mats. They blend very well. They're just not my favorite mats. We're gonna move on. The makeup palette from Adept Cosmetics is available for a third restock. I actually just used this palette for the first time. It is really awesome. I will say that. You've got chunky shimmers and smooth shimmers and two mattes. The two mattes, I may have picked different shades, but the whole palette works beautifully. So if you were interested in the Minka palette that is available and they did sneak peek a palette for 2023, which is this one here. So we'll keep our eyes out for that. I guess we're gonna get into the foolery now. And here it is. So, Here's what I'm gonna say, because I don't need to make this mean or anything like that of the such. I think I'm just getting old because the only reason that brands can continue to come out and not just come out with these releases, I mean, afford. You have to be able to afford, to have the coinage, to have the money to collaborate with a brand like Sesame Street. I just can't imagine that this is a collab that is cheap. You know what I mean? So for them to do Care Bears, they did Sesame Street, uh, I don't know what you call those ones that come in the bubble things, icons or something like that. For them to do this, for them to do Girl Scouts, did they do the cup of noodles? <sighs> Hip Dad has money. That's all I can say. They, they have to. I just, I don't know. 
I don't know what to say. I don't even have anything witty at this point anymore, aside from you need to leave. Um, you got Big Bird, Elmo, and Cookie Monster. I don't know what's happening. Okay. I, I don't know. I don't know what to say. Sugar Drizzle Polish has a mini holographic eyeshadow palette. Who are these people? Are these the owners? Okay, you let me know, because I don't know. But this is gonna be a no. Linda Hallberg also has a palette coming out, all shimmers. I do like these shimmers, but this is gonna be a no. But these are really beautiful. I mean, this is a companion palette. This uh, left shade, that gray metallic is beautiful. I am not sure how these palettes perform because I think she has come out with a product like this but it looks really nice. It's $42, it is available now. Let me know what you've tried from Linda Hallberg. Linda Hallberg is amazing, like as far as her makeup and her creativity, but her products don't necessarily grab me like that. Ooh, ooh, ooh that's pretty. Okay, let's move on. Sorry that I had to do that because I, I really like Kaleidos. I'm gonna tell you the reason why I did that. This looks like Game of Thrones winter is coming. And y'all know how I feel about Game of Thrones. If you don't, I love Game of Thrones. I'm actually reading the book Game of Thrones, which is really season one. I'm actually rereading that book. Actually, I'm listening to it on Audible, but I did read it. Anyway, that, let's move on. Love this outfit right here. I really love it. I mean, she looks upset. This is a lip clays collection from Kaleidos and I, I can't justify purchasing it. Here it is. I have so many lip products as well as a lot of lip clays. Now, if you don't have lip clays and you are interested in this, I fully support it. I'm sorry I played that sound. I played the sound because of the sound of winter. That's why, that's why. But um, I, I can't, I just can't justify getting this collection. I was, I was really hoping that they were going to come out with a palette for this. It, you know what though, let me, let me take it back. I'm not mad because Kaleidos isn't overdoing palettes. They've just come out with palettes and quads that I'm not exactly into, but I can't be mad. Like. They needed a neutral color story and they came out with the two quads, the brown one and the black one. They needed to come out with that. It just wasn't for me. I wanted the blushes. They just didn't come out with exactly what I wanted, but I said I wanted blushes, didn't get those. Then they came out with two other quads, wasn't into those. I I'm not mad. They haven't had like a big palette since Flower Punk, I believe. And you know what? I'm not gonna be upset about it because I'm certain that when they do come out with a palette, I, I'm thinking it'll be something that I want and I'll be appreciative of it because they're not overdoing it. But I also think that I'm over the lip clays collections because the last time they had this, I thought they were gonna give us a palette. And I wanna say it was around this time or maybe a little bit earlier in, the latter part of 2021 and I did get that whole collection. So I have lip clays from the flower punk collection. I have lip clays from that other collection. I can't remember what it's called. So I have a lot of lip clays. I cannot justify getting any more, even though I like the lip clays, I love how they feel and I love the colors, but I'm just gonna have to pull out the ones I have. And I'm certain that some of them are similar to the ones that our friends are wearing in these pictures. So that's why they got the sound, but they didn't really deserve that. Okay, let's move on. All right, so let's look at what Too Faced is doing here. They have some Cloud Crush Blurring Blush. An airy diffuse blurring blush infused with a flower extract blend, available in diffuse satin and diffuse matte finishes. Uh, these are gonna be a no. I, they look nice, but I don't need these. This coral is nice. I don't need these at all. 
I'm going to just go ahead and move on. They're going to be $29, which is not bad. I'm, I just don't need any blushes. We have Tarte coming out with a liquid glow filter. Get glowing skin in seconds with this glow filter in a bottle to smooth, blur, and illuminate. So I'm thinking this may be similar to maybe the one by Charlotte Tilbury. I have a Lisa Eldridge one. I have my R at Glow Lust. So this is probably not something that I need, but it does look nice. And it looks like you can wear it alone under your concealer, mix with concealer, and can go on the high points of your face. Looks very dewy and beautiful. Not fake a gym sash afterglow without breaking a sweat. You need a queen. Okay. Not gym sash. Like why? All right, this is available now for $30. It's a no. And Tarte is coming out with more. They've got the Shape Tape Glow Bar Glow Wardrobe. Daddy, chill. Glow Bar is the ultimate glow wardrobe for a refined, highlight, and candlelit skin. Now this looks nice. Powder of Youth, Clay Diamond Complex. Okay. Now this is gonna be $49. It's, it's very nice. Let me know if you have been purchasing from Tarte. I haven't, but this product looks really nice. It's just not something I need, so just gonna move on. Rare Beauty has a positive light under eye brightener. All right, so this is concealer, right? Okay. Why are they calling it an under eye brightener? Isn't it concealer? Let me know. Maybe not, let's see, maybe not. You know, I'm, I'm learning. Cause they have light, light, medium, 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 tan, medium, deep, and deep. So looks like it is just supposed to waken up your under eyes and maybe you put it under concealer or with it, or you can wear it alone. That's interesting. This is $24 and it's available at Sephora. Now I'm a little curious about this, although I know I don't need it, but I'm a little curious about it. Like maybe I would do what, medium or medium tan? I don't know, medium tan looks deep on the light hand. I don't know, I don't, I don't need to know. Ooh, more shades from Terra Moons. Haven't seen these yet. <sighs> Is this the end of them? Because I can't. These look nice. I can't do it. Oh no, I can't. Let's move on. Terra Moons is trying to get me and I'm trying not to be God. Pharmacy has a Wake Up Honey Eye Cream. Mmm, brightening vitamin C. So this is gonna be good if you have dark circles or puffy under eyes and fine lines. Hmm. This is available now at Sephora for $45. I like pharmacy. I don't need this. There's a new primer from Peter Thomas Roth, an instant firm, no filter primer. So this is supposed to tighten, firm, and blur the look of fine lines and pores for a temporary effect and flawless makeup application. So if you need a primer, this could be a good one. This is also available at Sephora now for $42. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Dior. Okay, I've not tried the Lip Maximizer glosses, but it looks like they have some new shades. I was going to say flavors. They have new shades. Um, this is not something I need to get, although I do love the Dior. So... Y'all know I keep washing my lipsticks. I washed like two of my Dior ones and now I washed my Chantecai Lip Chic. I'm, I'm gonna save that. I need that one to continue to work because I don't have money to replace that one. Just wanna share. Now these are $40. If I try this, it will not be until the Sephora sale or some type of sale because I have so many lip products from Dior and just in general. So, nope. I thought this was Notoriously Morbid plate. Uh, let's see. Nope, never heard of them. Now, Necromancy Cosmetica. I have heard of this brand and I only remember one palette from them, but they have a Swamp of Sorrows palette and I'm really curious to see that color story. So we will continue to look for updates. We have a palette coming from Shine by SD Cosmetics. This is their Vintage Love palette. 
we'll have to stay tuned for that ColourPop has a Pretty Please collection. Might have mentioned this last week, but I can't remember. I mean, this is definitely a no. I, this is just a no. I don't have, there's nothing in this palette that I need, but I think it's pretty. It's like cool tone mauve pink, but it is a cool tone no. Oh gosh, okay. Oh no, is this clap? Nope. This is even worse. Not with those. Nope. Just move on. Milani has some cute color stories coming out. These are the Gilded Mini Eyeshadow Palettes. Um, these are going to be a no. They are available now at Milani Cosmetics. But I have tried Milani eyeshadows and they're not bad. Mm, I don't like that one. Okay. Moving on. Not getting that. Ooh. Really bad. Oh wait, you have to go to the bathroom really. Bad. Ooh, the camera. The camera's not on you. Mmm. Mm -hmm. So look at this. Now this is by Asgard Queen Cosmetics. I always think about Asgard because that's where Thor is from, right? Let me know. I think he is. I love Thor. Now this is a new limited edition palette called Celestial Compass. This is different. Valkyries, we're back on track after a social media break and we have something interesting for you. It is a winter fairy tale. This, this, now this, this is something different. This is something nice. Is this your second video? This is my second video. This is something I'm interested in. Hmm. Let me know what you think. Devoted to the symbols of the upcoming 2023 year of the cat and the rabbit. It's two animals for 2023? Let me know. $36, not including shipping. Purchase via DM. I don't know about all that. Purchase via DM. I got, okay. All right. That's a thought. Let me, oh. you know what? Let's go in order. Okay, the Pat collection released yesterday. Let me tell you what I got. I still have my um, Midnight Sun over there with the printout on it, taped on it, because I was not. Did y'all see that our beloved Kinky Sweat, AKA Alicia Archer, or Alicia Archer, AKA Kinky Sweat, she went to the Pat McGrath Star Wars event and got to meet Mama Pat. I felt so happy for her. And I felt like I made it too. Did anybody else feel like that? I had to DM her like, we made it, we made it. So I like, I'm so happy. That was so amazing for her. And all of us, all of us actually. Ooh, let me tell you what I ended up getting. I kind of went back on what I said. I didn't get the mothership. I got these two right here because I always wanted Sith seduction. Can I sit right here? Sure, you can. Of course you can. Of course you can, sugar. Gotta cut you out, sorry. Um, because I'm doing, I have a, have, I have to have a video up here on the side. So I was not going to get the droid palette because of the blue shade. However, I was like the blue would be an inner corner highlight, a really cute one. I wanted to try that lime shade and the purple looked really nice too. So it, these are going to be like one and done and two and done shades. I, I'm not going to use all five of these in a look. It's just not happening like that. So I think I will enjoy these for that. The one and done or two and done type looks. Really excited about Sith Seduction. I also purchased three, nope. I also purchased two of the Chroma Lux shadows and it's the crimson one and the gold one. So really excited. Those are the ones that were selling out. Mm -mm. Chroma Lux. I said Chroma Lux. Oh, I said Crimson. Crimson. They all sold out so far. Well, the last time I checked, except for the Crimson shade. And then the bundle of four sold out. I think the bundle of all three of the mini palettes sold out. So I I'm actually happy to see some things sell out from Mama Pat. But that's what I got two of the quince and two of the chroma lux so as soon as that comes i'll get it up now let's look at house of siage doing too much what is this avatar mm. 
Let's look at the notes. Bergamot, pear, and cassis. I don't know what that smells like. Rose, tuberose, and lang lang. Amber wood, musk, and tree moss. That's really interesting. So it's a fresh, fruity, floral, clean, earthy, and woody scent. Mm, definitely not a blind buy. But as I always say, if you want something from House of Siage, wait till it goes on sale for 40% off because it will. NYX Cosmetics has a Bear With Me Blur Tint Foundation. I'm not in the market for any foundations, but NYX does have great products. I'm going to go ahead and pass on this. Mm. Mm. Chanel is releasing their spring 2023 Rouge Allure Velvet Lipstick Collection. No, please no, please no, don't do it. I, I'm a fan of the Chanel lipsticks. I have like four now, I think. They're really good. Ooh, okay, this, actually not all of it, but a couple of these, 61 and 63, yes. I'm not ready for spring, like, come on now, come on. Gotta move on. 14 shades available on January 6th. Let's move on. Oh, look at this. So Heather Austin has a... Because I was excited. That's why I sound like that. I'm excited. August, I guess I'm doing a YouTuber voice. All right. Heather Austin has a favorites brush set. I'm very happy for her. That is very awesome. So she has her favorite brushes that she likes to use from Sigma and they are available in a bundle for $77, which is awesome. I don't, I don't think I have way more brushes than Heather Austin. I don't, but this is very awesome for her. Very nice. Okay. Excellent. What is this? I saw this earlier and it's a restock glisten cosmetics is restocking their palette collab with fairy freak um okay this is a no because i don't need any liners so that was great what do we like from here let's just take a look i'm into this asgard i'm gonna send them a dm because i got a purchase off of a dm but these look nice look at those swatches right there yeah don't you know Thor's from Asgard? Yeah. And that's the Asgard Queen brand. Guardian. August was asking me, was I going to get it? I was saying, I'm not sure. It looks nice. Let's go to Trend Mood, see if we see anything. Oh, there is a rumor, and I was talking to Makeup Release Radar about this. There's going to be another Major Dimension palette. I hope that this is not it. I'm hoping that this is a filter or some type of special lighting so that we can't see the theme because I can't imagine Patrick coming out with something so similar. Like, I, I'm not certain. Oh, it's the lighting. Okay, so I think there is going to be a new Patrick Tom Major Dimension palette. I'm definitely on the lookout for that because I really love Major Dimension 2 a lot, even though the shades seem slightly it? hard panty. Let us dabble into the luxury world just to see what's happening Yeah, And I don't think there's much, which is great. It looks like we see the Dior Lip Maximizer Plumping Glosses again. And I'm not getting those. Yeah, that's it. We've talked about it all. So I am happy with this. So let's go ahead and get ready to wrap this up. I'm happy to see that there's not much on the list here. I am intrigued by the Terra Moons shades, but there are no guarantees that I'm gonna get anything. I know that Makeup Release Radar does have a code. So I'm just gonna see how I feel later. I'm just not sure about that. The Celestial Compass Palette from Asgard Queen Cosmetics, that really caught my eye just because I have not tried that brand. I don't know anything about it, but it's definitely an interesting color story and the swatches look really nice. I haven't heard anything about that brand. So there's that. I will most likely get two of those Chanel Spring lipsticks, but I mean, I'm not in a rush. I think that's it. I told you what I got from Pat and 
probably last week I told you I ordered three liquid Lorex shades from Lisa Eldridge and I still have the two lethal palettes coming up. So that is what I've gotten, but I don't see too much here. And that makes me very, very excited. I'm always on the lookout for certain brands that I love. Like I will be looking for the Adept palette when it comes out next year and things like that. But as far as anything that I've seen here today, I'm just not really moved by much. So that is great. It's great for the makeup protection program, which in turn is great for our wallets. So that is gonna be it for today's video. Thank you so much for taking out some of your time and hanging out with me for another day of Christmas. I hope this was therapy for you. It always is for me. Hmm? Oh, it's also therapy for August as well. So until I see you again, make sure you're being gentle with yourself. Talk to yourself nice, stay safe, and I will see y'all tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Go ahead.